Hi, Matthew here. And in this short tutorial, we're going to make a looper using a pickup machine on the Electron Octatrack. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to put a pickup machine on one of your tracks. Whichever track you put a pickup machine on, it's going to use the flex buffer associated with that track. So a pickup machine on track one, it's going to use flex buffer one. The next thing you want to do is go into your recording setup. Function, record one. Make sure the trig is set to 1, 2. Record length to max, loop to on. Pick your input. We're using input A because we're recording guitar. Now go into record page 2. Change the fade in and the fade out to the smallest fade ins possible. This is just to prevent clicks and pops. Bring the monitoring all the way up for the recorder buffer. We're done here. We're now ready to start using our looper. Go into your audio editor of the track with the pickup machine. If we want to start looping, we just press record one. Hit record two to start playing that loop. You can see the tempo changed. The Octatrack is guessing the tempo based on the loop you've just recorded. If we want to add to this loop, hit record one again. Hit record two to let it play. Hit record three to erase it. Boom. Hit stop. Now, that's cool, but if you're a guitar player, you need to have something to cue up the record for you. Usually, you're using your foot. In this case, we're just going to use time. What we're going to do is set the cue record to the pattern length. This will turn the recorder on every time it gets to the beginning of the pattern. So we hit record one again, but we have a second to prepare. And now we have a perfect loop. To record over it, hit one again. It's pretty easy and pretty fun. And that is how you make a looper on the Electron Octatrack. Thanks for watching.